So today we're going to be taking a look at the new map Sunset and here it is. And this is going to be very, very first impressions. I mean, I've very quickly just gone around the map. So I'm going to be discovering things as you are um, and keep a lookout for things. So here's uh, Defender Spawn, some nice cars there. We'll start off over towards the B side because I think it's just very interesting because you've got this massive tower just in the middle of the here. site. And here. yeah, it's just uh, this massive tower and you can plant all around it on the outside as the attackers. So a very, very kind of weird, weird sight, I would say, because I'm not sure we have anything like that off the top of my head, where there's just a, like a massive obstacle in the way, like middle of the site. Um, and then, yeah, this is what the site looks like. Uh, kind of a weird little, little map. Can you jump on this? No, you cannot jump on this. Uh, well, I guess you can like, I don't know. That, that's a weird height for a platform environment, but okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, kind of a weird one. Um, but they've also got market here. So this is kind of like adjacent to the B site, kind of a part of mid, but you know, kind of yeah. being more committal. There's also a door just here that's similar to Ascent, uh, where, you know, you can the Ascent door, you can destroy it, uh, like so. So that's kind of interesting as well. Uh, and we'll see how that is used with that door. You know, will, will defenders close that door a lot because it's quite close to what some of the attackers are doing. Now, Altorb is here. Uh, for B, and this is B main, so the attackers will start just yeah. here in B lobby, and uh, they will be, this, this I assume will be a big fight zone in general, right, the Ultorb is kind of in the middle of that, this kind of reminiscent to me of somewhat of A main on Ascent, right, so we got the door that's kind of like Ascent, this I think is kind of Ascent-ish as well, where you've got kind of, yeah. the attackers and defenders kind of, kind of close to each other, right, and then there's kind of just this one bit of the map in between them and the site, right, so, you know, Think of this kind of like a scent, although I'm not sure it'll be defended uh, quite in the same way, but I could definitely see that. Also, yeah. one thing I noticed, this is a l wide choke point, right? Compared to most of the choke points in Valorant, that is a very wide choke point indeed. And uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see how teams actually defend that. You know, as I said, I feel like you might get quite aggressive here as the defense or want to, you know, try and hold on to actually be main rather than, you know, just give this up and let them exec onto the site itself. Uh, so that could be a, a thing that happens as we go, like, back into mid. We'll come from the defender's point of view here, in towards mid. So this is where one of the barriers will start here as well, just kind of up towards the top of mid. I think the other one starts actually by the door just there. So you're kind of right into mid, again, if you want to come right into it. And this is what's interesting about this, is there's kind of two entrances to mid. They're kind of disconnected. And, and that's kind of a theme in this map. You know, you've got parts of this map that are kind of just disconnected, yeah. right? Well, you've got the two sides of mid here. You've yeah. got the kind of two parts of B just there. You've got the two ways into A. Kind of disconnected. And fights can happen very, very quick here, right? So the attackers will be uh, spawning kind of by this little door just here. They can run down here and they're like straight on you. So you could get a lot of early battles in mid, but kind of on two different angles. It's going to be an interesting mid battle, I think. And then also interesting... If attackers do take this first part of mid, do they yeah. ever dare to push yeah. this deep, right? Don't quite know. And you might think, yeah, no way that's going to happen. But when you start to think about this map, it's actually like, no, that that might happen. And like, if the attackers come into market here, right, and come and take this space, that becomes very difficult then for the defenders because, you know, there is this option for the attackers to come up and maybe get aggressive and come behind this way, right? If you're not ready for that even. So, and there's even this thing to jump on top of, which is kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, definitely some options there in mid for both sides. That mid fight could be very, very interesting from the kind of attacker's point of view coming this way. Uh, it looks like kind of like this. So you, again, this archway feels like that will be one of those angles where, you know, I can definitely see get people getting ready for the one tap angle there. Uh, that seems like a, a thing that might happen. Um, but yeah, quite an interesting little uh, area to mid in general. Um, and then if we come towards the A site as well here, uh, you've got, uh, again, multiple ways into this A site, right? So this is kind of from the defender's perspective coming into the A site. You know, a bit more normal in terms of where you can plant just on this, right? With uh, some boxes here. Uh, this is probably like your really safe plant, um, but you might plant behind this, yeah. right? or even here here is maybe the best but that's gonna be spam so we'll see it with that uh but yeah kind of an interesting way here's the ult orb on a and i think again the ult orb is maybe a good sign of what's to come because as the attack is coming yeah. out here into a lobby you know it's multiple ways you have to kind of look here right or, or try and fight for so 
kind of interesting. I feel like one way this might play out is the defenders maybe yeah. actually give up that and are not as bothered as long as they can keep elbow. Because if you can keep elbow, you're yeah. a threat here and, you know, you can come back in onto the site from then, you know, multiple directions, whether it be from CT, whether it be from kind of A-Link just there, you know, and then back from elbow here as well. So you'll have kind of like multiple different ways in and slightly different elevations as you come back here. So... Quite interesting to see how this will play out. But again, I think you could get a big battle here in the kind of main if attackers do come there. But again, yeah. this is a very big choke point, you know, very kind of wide-ish space for defenders to have to keep attackers back into. So I think you could get a lot of early fights in this map is kind of what my first impression of it of it is. I'll actually just show you where the seconds left. Kind of barriers Don't start just here as well. Because um, that kind of point proves also, my point as well, right? Like, look at yeah. how close the barriers are here. Right, and then again, yeah. in mid, uh, yeah. for the defenders or the attackers, you're kind of straight there, right? It's a couple steps, and there's a fight right there, right? In B, in B main as well. You know, a yeah. couple steps either side, and you're right into a fight. So it really does feel like, you know, I mean, look at look at where I can get as the defense straight away, right? This little one here is probably the only one that's a bit disconnected, but you probably will want to use this as the attackers to either create yeah. a different angle this way yeah. or, you know, come down here. But then again, as soon as the attackers come here, you can see this straight away. Again, very early fights will be going on in this map uh, for sure, which, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy, to be honest. Uh, I think that's, you know, what people kind of like. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of interesting things. I feel like as the defenders, it's one of those maps more so like you're not going to get like super aggressive. I don't, you know, you're not going to yeah. be like pushing all the way out of yeah. mid a ton, I don't think. But there are confusing elements to this. It's kind of almost a bit weird because they kind of, you know, like, like if we come back to the tower on B, you know, this kind of reminds me where you're going to get fights where people are just, you know, jogging around one side of the pillar and then looking around the other side of the pillar. And you're just like, you know, missing each other like this. And it's kind of who just runs the right way, right? They kind of got rid of a lot of that, right? With like on Breeze, on Split, we've seen that as well. You know, on Pearl somewhat. You know, with some of their map changes more recently, it's been kind of the removal of that kind of thing. But on this map, whether it yeah. be on A, be on B yeah. mid here with this kind of little extra bit, be it in here on B, like there's kind of multiple situations I could see out where, you know, you're just running around one side whilst the other person runs around the other. Fractured Dish was another one that I was trying to think of but couldn't. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting in terms of the way they've changed the map. I do think that for the attackers, you aren't given a ton of space, right? Like on Lotus, it's a difficult map for the defenders to kind of, you know, defenders have to contest space. They have to act actively try and take some space. Otherwise, they're in massive trouble. Here on this map, you will definitely need yeah. to contest space because you always do, of course. But you won't need to like aggressively push out, I don't think. You're kind yeah. of already starting you know, in positions where, you know, you're going to be using util off the rip or you're going to be using, you know, you're in a gunfight off the rip, right? Of course, yeah. you'll still want to contest like B main yeah. and maybe A main yeah. as well. But I do think that the for the attackers, the, there's more of an onus on the attackers to actually take space on this map than maybe there is on Lotus where, you know, a lot of space might be given to you for free and the defenders have to come and actually take some space off you instead. I feel like the attackers maybe have to do a bit more work to come and, you know, find that space. And it'll be interesting how it plays out because there's a lot of options here. If the attackers can take some space, though, there is a lot of options for them. As I said, if you come, you know, through Peaks market now. just here, right, you have options yeah. to come up this way or come towards the site. If you come and push all the way up mid, right, I mean, you know, yeah. then you've got, again, options, you know. And again, having someone push up here as well feels like it will be important. Kind of a similar to Ascent again, but much better much closer, yeah. I guess, to where you actually start as the attackers to yeah. cut off any rotations, right? To cut off any anyone rotating that way and actually make them rotate all the way through spawn instead. And in which case, you know, then you can maybe even come and take the space. And they've kind of given you, I mean, this is a little awkward, but they've kind of given you, you know, this little, like, cubby to kind of hide on, you know, they've kind of made it a bit yeah. difficult for the defenders to have a full sight line just, you know, to be able to look across. Like, if you're a defender and you know that someone's pushing out of that archway there, you know, you're going to have to be a bit tentative like oh have they actually come through don't know like so there is options here for the attackers if they can take some space but if the defenders can you know hold that space early on then i feel like they are in kind of control but yeah it's kind of interesting to, to me like this yeah. choke point is very big and it's kind of almost like if defenders can't hold on to b main then attackers get a big nice wide choke point to come and attack the site onto right 
Uh, yeah, so definitely an interesting little map. Those are just some very early takeaways. Obviously, I'll just show you Attacker Spawn as well because we haven't been there yet. Uh, this is what Attacker Spawn looks like. Yeah, pretty, pretty normal, I would say, overall. But yeah, definitely options are available to attackers if they can take some control, particularly maybe around mid, but also a main, I think, could be quite an interesting and pivotal part of this map.